say goodbye to messy cables, and hello to seamless mirroring. In today's tech video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect an iPad without any cables to your Sharp Smart TV. Some of the newer TVs that are coming out have a built-in way of mirroring your iPad to the screen, but not all TVs have this capability. So the three ways that I'm gonna show you how to mirror your iPad will work on any model of TV and any year of TV. You just have to have an HDMI connection to plug into. Okay, the first way that I'm gonna show you how to mirror your iPad is using a Roku device. Now this works with the Roku Ultra, Roku Stream Bar, Roku Smart Sound Bar, Roku Streaming Stick Plus, and the Roku Premiere. Here are the instructions on this. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your remote control, hit the home button on it if you're not already there, and this is the home screen. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your Roku is all the way up to date on its latest firmware. So you're gonna to wanna to go down to system, click over, and then go to system update, and then click okay. And then to check now, it'll make sure that it's on its latest software update. Once you have that established, go ahead and click the home button again, take you to the home screen, and we're gonna go back down to settings, click over, and then here you're gonna click on Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. This is something new that Roku has implemented on all their devices. And what you're going to want to do is click on that. It'll take you to the AirPlay screen. Now it is available on all Roku devices except the very lowest Roku device. I'm not sure what that one's called, uh, um, but most of your devices will have this. If not, you might have to upgrade to the next one up. All right, once you're on this screen here, AirPlay settings, make sure that both your, your iPad and your Roku device are both on the same Wi-Fi in order for this to work. Make sure that AirPlay over here on the top right column is on. Right here on require code, I have mine set on first time only. If you click on that, you'll see that it's first time only, every time, or use password. So that's all based on preference. Since I'm the only one using this TV, first time only is plenty for me. Okay, once you're on there, okay, we're gonna go over to our iPad here, and on the top right corner, you're gonna swipe down and it brings up this menu icon here and you'll see where it says screen mirroring. You'll tap on that and then right away, um, I have two of them that show up, but right there it says Roku streaming stick, Roku streaming stick. I'll tap on that, it starts thinking, okay, and it's asking for the code that is on the TV there. So mine's 3393, three, yours will be different. 3393 three, three, and then I'll click okay. It starts thinking, there's a check mark now, and as you can see, it is mirroring exactly what's on my T or what's on my iPad is on my TV now. And if you want to stop mirroring, that's where you would select the stop mirroring button right there on your iPad. But uh, now you'll be able to mirror everything that's on your iPad there. If you want to watch YouTube videos, uh, here's the wonderful thing about it. If you are watching a video, most of the time you have to go in landscape mode like that to utilize uh, the video, but you can still hold it just like this and it'll play in landscape mode on the TV. So that's the beauty of Apple AirPlay. But yeah, this is the easy peasy way of doing this. No third party apps or anything, no wires, just wirelessly mirroring from here to your Roku device. The second way I'm going to show you how to mirror your iPad is using a Amazon Fire Stick or any of the Amazon streaming devices. I'm gonna show you with my iPhone, but it works the same with an iPad. Here are the instructions for this way. Okay, so here's the step-by-step instructions on how to mirror anything that you've got going on on your iPhone to your Fire TV right here, so, or your Fire Stick. So well, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go over to your magnifying glass over here, and then you're gonna to wanna to type in A Power Mirror. Okay, it comes up right here, A-Power Mirror, and you should get that icon that looks, that's right there. A-Power Mirror, go ahead and click on that. Okay, it'll take you to this screen here, and then you'll go ahead and click OK on your remote control to download it. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and click Open, and it'll take you to this screen here. Uh, you have to allow access of A-Power Mirror to access your photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on Allow. All right, so now once you get to this screen here to mirror your phone, and we're gonna go to the second tab right here where it says Phone Screen Mirroring, and then click on that. It'll take you to this QR code over here on the left. All you wanna do is just open up the uh, picture taking app on your iPhone and then go over and scan it. And then as soon as you scan it up here at the top, 
it'll have the QR code reader. So you just tap on that and it'll automatically take you to your iPhone so that way you can download the A Power Mirroring Screen app. So click on it to download it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and click open. All right, now I ask you a question. A Power Mirror would like to find and connect devices on your local network. Uh, you wanna click OK because both of these have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. All right, so it's asking for network permission and location permission. Just go ahead and click on continue and then allow while using app. So there it goes and now it's recognizing Wi-Fi connection. Next thing we wanna do is click on that middle button where it says mirror. And now it's searching for your Wi-Fi network and then it's got an icon here that says A Power Mirror. Okay, next. What you want to do is swipe down on the top right corner of your iPhone just like this. It'll bring up all these different options. And then right there in the middle, you'll see where it says screen mirroring. You'll tap on that. And as you can see right here at the very top, it's got a power soft. And that is what is powering or talking with the app that you just downloaded on your Fire Stick. So then you just click on that. It'll load up. And as you can see, we are now mirroring directly to the TV. So I'll give you guys a quick little test of how this works. Oh, also, if you do want to stop mirroring, you'll just swipe down the bottom or the top right and click on that stop mirroring button right there. But let's go ahead and play something from my camera roll. We'll just, um, play a video that I recorded. Okay, here's the test video that I recorded with my dog. And it's playing directly from my phone right to the TV, just like that. The last way to mirror your iPhone, and it's probably the easiest of the three, but it's also the most costly, is using an Apple TV 4K. Again, I will use my iPhone on this to show you guys how to do it, but it works the same way with an iPad. Here are the instructions to do it with an Apple TV. What you want to do is make sure you have your, your Apple TV 4K all set up and went through all the steps of getting it all uh, installed and put together and attached to your iCloud account. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is grab your remote control, which looks like this right here. All right, and then go ahead and go down to the settings right here, and then click on that. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to that fourth tab right there that says AirPlay and HomeKit, and then click on that. All right, so go ahead and make sure that your AirPlay is turned on. Uh, some of you guys, when you, get, you first get this set up, you may have to get it connected with your iPhone. And the way that they do this is you have to Make sure your iPhone is unlocked and you got to hold it near your Apple TV and then it'll automatically pair. It's, it's pretty magical how they do that. I mean, it recognizes that your phone is near the, the Apple TV and it automatically starts syncing together and then you just got to give it the approval to uh, access your phone. But once you do have it, uh, make sure that your AirPlay setting is on right here and it'll ask you to name it uh, your Apple TV 4K to whatever room that you have it in. And then here on the allow access, there's a few different, um, there's a few different options here that you can choose. You can go to everyone, anyone on the same network, only people are sharing this home, require a password on, and then you'll create a password and then also allow nearby to airplay. So that's all based on preference on whichever one that you want to do. But once you have that selected, uh, go ahead and go back, make sure that that airplay is on. Now that it's on, we're going to have you go ahead and grab your iPhone and then make sure that it's unlocked. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to swipe down from the top right corner, just like so, so that it brings up this menu right here. And then you'll see right here where my thumb is, it says screen mirroring. So then you'll tap on that and it automatically recognizes the Apple TV nearby. All you do is tap on that. It starts to think and then voila, it's mirroring right to your TV. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I would love to have you back in the next one. Take care.